Today, Payne Weber College Basketball on ABC Sports presents the fourth-ranked Jayhawks at the University of Kansas and the Cowboys of Oklahoma State University. The Big 12 standings like this, Kansas won the North Division, Oklahoma State won the South Division. The asterisk, those teams from the South. And hi, everybody, along with my partner, John Mengeld, I'm Roger Twyba. We all know how good this Kansas basketball team is, but John, Oklahoma State, with only four losses, is looking for some national respect. Well, this is a team that won the first 11 games, have won seven in a row now, and really can only get ranked in one poll. It's senior day, it's a lively joint. This is a big game for them with the NCAA committee watching. Cowboys have won seven in a row. The Jayhawks have won nine consecutive games. And our Toyota starting lineup, Pew Pierce, LaFrance Robertson, and Thomas for the Jayhawks. Senior day here in Stillwater, Oklahoma, as Warner and Alexander, a couple of seniors along with Brett Robish, getting the nod for Eddie Sutton's Cowboys. 6,300, we'll pack it in here and we are underway. Ryan Robertson, number four. Pierce on the baseline had a big game last Monday against Oklahoma as Pew lays it in for the first two of the game. Good look, good ball movement by Kansas. Of course, Pierce is going to get a lot of attention, so he'll be able to dish off. That's Warner, the senior from Galesburg, Illinois. Seldom used, getting the start on senior day, and he commits the foul. You like to start the seniors, there's no doubt about it, but you got to be real careful when you see Eddie Sutton making the change. He's very quickly, so they don't get far behind. It's a big game for Oklahoma State. Well, Atkins and Gottlieb check into the game. Oh, two of the best in yep. the, you know, the country. we got two of the best guards in the country. You're looking at them right now guarding each other in assist to turnover ratio. Thomas for three. So Kansas has got the first five points. And this has got lead 44, leads the Big 12 in assists at over seven a game. A transfer from Notre Dame who sat out last year. He has been a real spark plug in the turnaround for this Oklahoma State team. It has a five to one turno assist to turnover ratio the last seven games. Really, really playing well. And for three, won't go outside. Roby's the rebound. This is a fairly important transition. You know, Kansas took a little bit of the crowd out with those two hits. And Robies, the jump hook, and of course, a very proud father, Dave Robies, who was an All-American at Kansas, their fifth leading all-time scorer here today, as Pew now. T.J. Pew hits his first two, averaging just 5.6 points per game, and quickly got lead to the other end. Gottlieb really has been playing some great basketball with the left hand, can't get it down and cue the rebound. Looks like it slipped out of his hands. You want to put that off the glass if you're up there, give a chance for fillers to get a rebound. Robertson for three. Oh, Ryan Robertson. Time out here, yeah. It's a 20 second timeout. And Kansas has jumped out to a 10 2 lead and a 20 second timeout called by Eddie Sutton and the Cowboys of Oklahoma State University. Kansas putting on a clinic, first of all, the three times down the floor with their half-court offense. That was a transition basket. Robertson came down. Everybody's trying to find their man. See him pointing to him? Nobody's got him. You got to pick him up if you're on the ball. You got to go get him. You can't let him sit there and shoot. Well, he's a good three-point shooter, too, right. and they would like to see him shoot more from out there. You know, Robertson filled in for Jock Vaughn when he was injured last year, and as a starter, he is 41-3 and three for the Jayhawks. As Robish, he has really played some terrific basketball of late for Eddie Sutton, averaging almost 19 points a game in their last eight outings. It's a big game for him. He's playing against some really talented big guys, and he can show his stuff. On the wing, and the shot won't go over there. Peterson missed that one as Thomas fakes the three. Kansas has made all four of their field goals so far. Triangle offense. The French, the turnaround, won't go, and the rebound pulled down by Desmond Mason. Mason averaging 15 and a half points and eight rebounds a game. Kansas got to do everything they can to keep this crowd out of the game. Baseline bounce pass from Gottlieb trying to find Adrian Peterson. Now, good good backdoor, good backdoor, good thought, good move. Kansas will overplay. You got to keep them honest by going backdoor. Pass not very good off the knee. Peterson struggling a little bit with an ankle injury. Suffered yesterday in practice. Peterson is one of those guys that he's really a second-half guy if you look at his stats. 
Averaging almost 13 points a game in his second half. LaFrance misses Pierce, the offensive board, and puts it up and in. Paul Pierce, Monday night, at senior night in Lawrence against Oklahoma, hit 14 of 17 shots and had 31 points, as this is really uncharacteristic because Oklahoma State leads the Big 12 in turnover margin, and now they've thrown it away three times already. And really, Kansas has not put an extensive amount of pressure on. Looks like they're a little nervous. They need to get some hoops and calm down just a little. Alexander checks into the game for Oklahoma State. So Chad Alexander, the senior from McPherson, Kansas, in there, and he's guarding Billy Thomas as LaFrance muscles his way in, and Robich pulls the rebound down. Joe Atkins, 35. That Mason in the lane, and we're going to call a foul on Billy Thomas. I think if you hadn't got fouled, we might have had a travel here. Good penetration. Looks like Oklahoma State's trying to push the ball up and get something in transition more than trying to set up a half-court offense. Eddie Sutton, the only coach in NCAA history to take four different teams to the NCAA tournament. Creighton, Arkansas, Kentucky, and Oklahoma State. That's some kind of accomplishment. Mason at the line. 68% free throw shooter. Mason has uh, really come on this sophomore year. Averages four points and two rebounds as a freshman. Up those numbers to 15 and eight. And this is sophomore season. You gotta watch him too. He's had seven 20-point uh, games this year. 12 Seven double doubles. Good inside, move. Nice speed oh, and good screen up top. Really nicely done by Kansas. 14-4, 10 point. Kansas lead. Jayhawks have won five straight against Oklahoma State. Last time these two teams met in the Big 12 tournament. Last March, Kansas came away with a 74-59 victory. Through that last Kansas basket, you can see, if you see Pierce kind of just came across the top and rolled off a LaFrance screen, nobody wanted to switch. That gave him that half a step, which is all you need. Nice feed from on top, good execution. Foul was on LaFrance. This is the first meeting this year between these two teams. Of course, when they were the Big Eight, they would play twice and then maybe in the tournament. Last year, just once in the regular season, they did hook up in the tournament. Kansas in a zone now. Ball taken out of bounds underneath the basket. A lot of teams like to go to zone. Mason to Alexander. Good three-point shooter. In and out. And the Prince the rebound. Here's Thomas. The Jayhawks have got the number. Pierce on the wing. Back to Billy Thomas and in. That was Alexander's fault. He got knocked down on the shot. Thought it should have been a foul. Stayed there and looked for the ref to call. He's got to get up and get back. 16-4. Both of these teams well rested. Last game for the Jayhawks was Monday. Last game for Oklahoma State was Tuesday. And another. Now, ball was tipped. No, they're not. No, no, no. Wait, now, wait, wait, wait. We're going to get a change here. Yeah, ball it was looked tipped. like it might have been tipped. And one of the officials out top said, no, it's going to be Oklahoma State ball. And we've got a timeout. 30 left to go. First half from Stillwater. And Kansas has got the 12 point lead. Roger Twaddle, John Mengel back with you at. Gallagher Iba Arena, 6,300 jammed into this wonderful venue for college basketball. Adkins kicks it to Alexander for three. He missed his first, he nails his second. Alexander, 37% shooter from out there. Finally connecting, got to get this crowd in, but in and out for Billy Thomas. Robish the rebound, 16-7, and three, yes! They're back now. Crowd is hopping. LaFrance for three. Can't put it down. down. Q draws the foul as he goes up. TJ Workman like effort all year for the Jayhawks as Desmond Mason commits his first foul. Pew is just one of those guys that's in there to get those easy buckets underneath, get those rebounds, averages over five a game. Best defensive player on the Kansas team. Kansas worked their offense the first four or five times down the floor. Had a lot of patience. Since the Cowboys have gotten a little bit closer, they've taken a few quick shots, which has allowed the Cowboys to go the other way. CQ 
from the free throw line and nails them both. Just so like TJ Pugh already with six points above his season average, and it's 18-10. Kansas with some pressure. They pressured that last inbounds pass on the half court. They're in some zone pressure. This time they drop back to a man-to-man. -man. On the wing, shot was short there. As Atkins got it back, Mason. Oh! Kansas bench wanted to travel on Atkins, didn't get it, and Mason with a terrific follow. Pierce and in. Right now, it's in a zone, but it's a little porous. Paul Pierce with six as Atkins gets it inside to Mason. He's working on Pew off the glass. Won't go. Tipped it around, and Billy Thomas comes down with it. Billy Sutton wanted a foul down here at this end. He was, I think, very close maybe to getting a technical. He was right in the ref's ear Adkins, all the way down the floor. Adkins tipped that last pass away as Kansas will send Kenny Gregory, the freshman from Columbus, Ohio, and Lester Earl, the transfer from LSU, into the game. Kansas has a tendency to really crash the boards. They're a very physical team. Eddie Sutton trying to get the refs to take a little bit of that physicalness out of it early. Robertson will step in, misses the shot, and Peterson comes down with the rebound. Adrian Peterson will get it to Atkins, and Oklahoma State trailing by eight with 13 and a half to go. First half from Stillwater. Robish, good position, misses it inside. Didn't use the glass, looks like he rushed it a little bit. We got a war down in the middle. Away from the basketball, the foul's gonna be on Lester Earl. Robish, great position down here last time. Nice feed from up top, but I think he rushed it just a little bit. Looked up, you gotta use the glass, you gotta know where you're at and get the right angle. He just got a little quick on that one. Oklahoma State has won four of six against Kansas with Eddie Sutton as head coach here at Gallagher Iowa Arena. Nice backdoor screen there. Pass a little errant. Alexander couldn't control it, but to get the shot, but they retrieve the ball. Rogish inside to Mason. Misses the easy one, so they've had a couple of easy opportunities. Rogish missed one, and now Mason misses one. Well, Kansas averages six blocks a game. I think they're looking for him. Kansas really not going for the blocks right now. The French wide open. Good ball movement. You got to go up and stick those in up off the glass. You know, when you're under there, you should go look for the pressure. Kind of feel the pressure. They're not getting pressure. They're looking for it, and they're just Eric shots. They're doing them too quick. First two points for LaFrance and a 10-point Kansas lead. The three. Yes, it goes down for Adrian Peterson. So Oklahoma State has had three trays so far in the game. And they're up 33% from out there. Looks like they've gained a little confidence now. Oklahoma State still in that zone. Have tightened it down just a little bit. Good movement. Robertson for three. Hits! Ryan Robertson. Robertson averaging over eight points and six and a half assists on the season is a good outside shooter. Kansas three of five from beyond the arc. Adkins for three. Won't go. Robish the offensive board. Now Adkins will go inside the scoop off the glass. Can't get it down. And that's three layups now Oklahoma State's yeah. missed. Well, that was a tough one. Kansas is tough down there. They've got three guys that can block shots and are quick to the basket. Good defense by Mason that time, playing, and then the reach-in foul on the Jayhawks, Paul Pierce. Might not want it to foul there. He got a three-on-one. First foul on Pierce, 11-18 to go first half. And Doug Gottlieb, he has not been in the ball game very much. He didn't start because it was senior day. Went out very quickly, and maybe Eddie Sutton was hunting for points. See, Kansas 63%. LaFrance 1 of 5. The rest of the team 9 of 11 as Peterson takes it from the wing. Can't get it down. And Robertson will move it up to the Jayhawks. We were looking for that Gottlieb-Robertson kind of matchup. Both of them great at assist turnover ratios, and we felt a lot of the secret of this game was going to be those two. And the rebound by Montanati, who just checked into the game, off the miss by Kenny Gregory. 
Montanati, number 30, a junior college transfer from Fullerton in California. Oklahoma State being very patient on this possession. As they get it to Robish, Tenowithy is in there right now. Commits the foul. That's the first on the freshman Eric Chenoweth. Robish with a quick spin move down there. LaFrance looked like he was fairly aggressive on his defense. Take a look. There's Robish posting up. Little head fake into the baseline. Comes in the middle. LaFrance just pushed his hands forward a just a little bit. Gives the innocent plea to the officials, but it's not going to get it. And Robish will go to the line. He's a 78% free throw shooter. Robish had his career high 33 against Texas Tech. He had a couple of three pointers in the game winning three throws in that overtime victory as Alexander comes out and Godley can check back in. And C.D. McGrath 24 and Billy Thomas 12 come in for the Jayhawks. Nick Bradford 21 also in there right now. So Robish, the transfer from Illinois. You know, it's a great story. His dad wanted him to go to Kansas. If they wanted to go to Kansas, the offer wasn't there. Went to Illinois as a six foot eight forward, grew three inches, and then <laughs> transferred here to Oklahoma State. It's been a great story. There's Dave Robish, fifth on the Jayhawks all time scoring list, All America. Played, you played against him in the NBA, didn't you, Jack? Yeah, a little played bit. 13 he, years in the ABA and NBA. NBA, right? Played with him on a world tournament team. He's left handed. Peterson, the pull up. Tough shot. Can't That's not the shot down. you want, no. And Billy Thomas, the rebound. Peterson is normal, struggling a little bit here in the first half. He, as you mentioned, he sprained his ankle in practice. A little stiff, maybe. McGrath turns down the three. Bradford, the lane, can't get it. And finally, Peterson comes away with it. We're at the halfway point of the first half, just under 10 minutes to go. 25-16, and another turnover, the fourth for Oklahoma State. C.B. McGrath, one of the seniors honored on Monday night in Lawrence, a former walk-on from Topeka, Kansas. Chenoweth, the big freshman with the turnaround shot, can't get it down, and it's going to be Oklahoma State basketball. Kansas 30-3 and three this year, the first team to reach 30 victories this year in the country. They were 34-2 and two last year, so John and I had a lot of free throws. Yeah. A lot of freebies. That friendly officials. Friendly officials. Gottlieb's got to get this club going, get him give him some better shots. He's got to. And Robish throws it away. That's their fifth turnover. McGrath travels with right? it. Yeah, a little. He did. A little hop step. Kansas got most of their starters on the bench. Just a little bit out of sync here right now. It's a time Oklahoma State could make up some ground. T.J. Pugh will check back into the game, and Lester Earl will come out. We mentioned the five McGrath. turnovers for Oklahoma State. McGrath came over and asked, Boy Williams, did I travel? He said, did he call it? <laughs> Godley played his freshman year at Notre Dame. Left after that year, sat out. A year while attending junior college. And uh, three seconds. Three seconds. Down low. Oh, I you don't get that called very no, often. No, Montanani, <laughs> I think he just kind of camped in there. Again, you know, the Cowboys really struggling on a half court offense. They've really gotten most of their points when they've pushed the ball up the floor and either gotten quick jumpers or the ball down low quickly. Kansas throws it away. Good this steal. is got lead. Working on Chenoweth. Good on move. The So Doug Gottlieb, the sophomore from Tustin, California, took it to the freshman Eric Chenoweth, the watch, freshman from Philip Park, California. Watch the way he goes to the body, see? He forces a contact, then bounces off. Now he's got a clear shot. Here's the steal. Good move. He says, hey, I got a freshman. I'm going to take him. Now watch here. He'll force the contact. See, if the shot comes there, it's tough to get in, but when you bounce off of him, you can regain your balance and put the ball up off the glass. And he misses just a 55% free throw shooter. And a whistle underneath, and the foul's going to be on Nick Bradford. Yeah, he pointed the other way, but that's not the case. We're going to stay down here and shoot. John, first points off a turnover for Oklahoma State. 
And 17 foul, and Oklahoma State will go into the bonus with Adrian Peterson going to the foul line. A 78% free throw shooter. He's been to the line more than any other Cowboy. 142 free throw attempts this year. And this is where really Oklahoma State's gotten it done, John. They have uh, outscored their opponents by 112 points at the free throw line this year. They've got a pretty good um, free throw percentage for a team around 70%. You know, right now, Oklahoma State only has two team fouls. I think they should pick up the intensity on defense out front, bump, shove a little bit, try to create some turnovers. Kansas is led by as many as 10. It's down to 5. 25 20 with 8 20 left to go first half. LaFrance has struggled somewhat today. Oklahoma State wanted a travel on McGrath the there. Thomas for three. Tip won't go. And Oklahoma State comes up with it. Adkins, step back, 4 3. Those are tough, the you know, when you get out of your rhythm. You kind of step back. He was short. That would be normal. Inside, Pugh gets up underneath. See, that's a, that's a it's okay foul right there. Pugh had great position. To Payne Weber College basketball here on ABC Sports. Roger Twibel, John Mengeld with you from Stillwater. As Paul Pierce, double team, will kick it outside. Now back into LaFrance, the turnaround shot. LaFrance has struggled from the field. Pugh has it blocked from behind by Godley. <laughs> Can't bring that ball down when a little guys can get at it. LaFrance just one of six from the field as Robish gets it down low. Puts Good it up. Hey. Nice head fake. Had both Q and LaFrance on him. Got it up through there. Robish with five. And now it's a three-point game. 25-22. Again, Oklahoma State should be playing aggressive defense. They've got four fouls to waste. Should not get fouls in shooting. Leaning in, Rafe LaFrance cannot get it down. He's now one of seven, and it's out of bounds off Oklahoma State. It'll be Kansas basketball. You know, in his career, six previous games against Oklahoma State, LaFrance averaging just about 13 points a game, so he's never really had any big games it's against the Cowboys. Sometimes that plays on you, you know? It gets in your mind. You think, well, you can't play well in a certain arena or against a certain style. Hugh loses it, but he gets it back. LaFrance wants it again. Double team. Now, Robertson wide open for three, and he hits it. Ryan Robertson has now hit three trays here in the first half. He's got nine. Yeah, you let him square up, and he's tough. Got a nice follow through. Great rotation. Kansas Whoa. four of seven from three point land. Robish will take it from the side. And Thomas the rebound. 28 22, six point Kansas lead. Pierce for three. Can't get it down. Tipped around. And Thomas finally tips it back to Rafe LaFrance. And the Jayhawks will set it up. Ryan Robertson. That's a two. Won't go. Pierce the offensive four. And Pugh battling underneath with Mason. And that's going to be the third foul on Desmond Mason. Now that's not good that it's his third foul. But it's still an okay foul. Pugh had great position down there. Let's take a look post up there he is grabbing around in front that's a foul anybody's book so Mason the sophomore from Waxahachie Texas will come out with three fouls with 559 to go first half and check it in Alex Weber a 610 sophomore from Searcy Arkansas 260 pounds he'll bang around in there low get some bounds had some back trouble last year had surgery after the first of the year and is still on the comeback trail as Pierce this is the fall away and Adrian Peterson's gonna pick up the foul now that's not the foul you want to get see now you're moving back up you're, you're at five team fouls you don't want to give him shooting fouls and waste those you also don't want to put Pierce on the line he's struggling just a little bit out there Pierce 75 percent on the season his 31 points Monday night against Oklahoma the most in a conference game during Roy Williams 10 years to Kansas they spread the wealth around Pierce with only six points but also has four rebounds and four assists to go with him making his 101st start today for the uh, Jayhawks this junior and a lot of question will he be back next year last year when LaFrance said he was coming back here says I'm back too now another year another question mark well Vaughn hurt LaFrance hurt himself 
coming back their senior years. He may be looking at that and maybe coming out. As far as injuries, you mean? That's right. 29-22, yeah. five and a half to go. This is a great atmosphere for college basketball, isn't it? Robies with the three. Can't get it down. Knocked loose by Peterson of the Kansas ball. But not many facilities, John, like this anymore. No, really compact, noisy. Kind of the people are right on top of you. It's a, a tough and interesting environment to play if you're a visiting team. Well, the next couple of years, they're going to do uh, some renovation. They're going to take the roof up and add some more seats here. Pull up by Pierce. I'll tell you, nobody in college Ooh. basketball does that better. That little 10, 12 foot jump shot. That's right, and that's kind of a lost start. You know, a lot of guys are wanting to slam dunk or take the threes. A lost start is really putting that ball on the floor two or three times and going up for the J at, like you said, 12 to 15 feet. Pierce has hit four of his five field goal attempts. He's got nine, and Kansas with a nine point lead. Robish underneath and in. Good back door move. Good look, too, from out top. Yeah, Weber got it into it. Big guys can pass the ball. They got great sight. They up there high can look down on everything. I always like that high low post. Right. So if you got a good win. passer though, a lot of guys, a lot of big guys can't pass very well. That's an offensive foul on TJ Pugh. Weber took the charge. Let's take a look at it. You you got the whistle. You make the call. I'm not too sure. It looks like he was moving. The ref out top didn't have the greatest angle to make that call. I, I think that was a block. Chad Alexander, Doug Gottlieb in the backcourt right now for Oklahoma State. Robish, Weber, and Peterson. There's Adrian Peterson, number 20. He's really the second half man. And Robish lays it up and in. Oh, so Red Robish now with nine. And it's a five point game. And the reach in on Brett Robish. His first. His first, the team six, still no bonus. So Oklahoma State's done a fairly good job using their uh, using their fouls. So far between the two big men, Robish with nine points, LaFrance with just two. And we've got a timeout. 3.51 to go first half. Sutton with really a lot of new players in this program. Chad Alexander, the only player in this program for more than two years. I think Sutton is a viable candidate for Coach of the Year in the Big 12. Boy, he, you know, 21-4. He's had five NCAA appearances in the last eight years. He's done a great job here. They're double-teaming LaFrance every time he gets the ball down low. LaFrance has to get the rid of that ball quickly. He's just one of seven from the floor, but not this guy. Robertson for three. That's his first miss from outside the arc. And then a foul is going to be on Adkins. And that is his first. And, well, John, we were talking about Gottlieb having to get his team going. Ryan Robertson and Gottlieb, this is what's happened so far today. And, you know, Robertson's coming off a game against Oklahoma, tied his career high with 11 assists last Monday night. Well, I, I just think Gottlieb looks a little pensive out there. He's really not very aggressive. He made the one steal and the one basket. He really got the crowd back in, but he has to create shots for these guys. This is a guy that's got, you know, averaging 7.3 assists a game. He's got to get his team in it. Billy Thomas. The senior from Shreveport, 70% free throw shooter. When he uh, nailed that three-pointer early on, it was his 100th of this year. So he was, you know, there was Gallup there, a little, you know, a little pensive, a little backed off getting after that ball. you got to get after, especially when you're at home. You're going to get the breaks. Referees give breaks to hustlers. I'll tell you, Robich has done a good job. Oh, a great job. And offensively. offensively. I mean, he's really dominated LaFrance the first half. LaFrance, one out of seven, two points. And Robich got nine points. Fall away. That's a tough shot from the baseline, and nobody does it better than him. And you're turning into your... You're turning to your left hand right where the guy can get to it. That's a for a right hander. That's a tough shot to defense for a left hander. That ought to be fairly easy to defense because he's got to put the ball right in front of you. Just his second hoop and with 243 left to go first half 34 26 Kansas with the lead off balance shot taken there still tipped around but not a real good shot by Joe Atkins that time. Yeah, you can't go in there. You, you, when you get up in the air, you better have a good shot. 
They've got an offensive foul called out front. Now let's see. Yeah, they got a block and an offensive foul. Both. Yeah, they got an yeah. offensive foul. On Rafe LaFrance, that's his second. Let's take a look at it. He's coming right at you. Pretty well established, and uh, Weber didn't get him from behind. You might have thought Weber pushed him from behind. Eric Chenoweth checks in the game as LaFrance will sit down. I'll tell you what, he is he is winded. I mean, that's been a battle with Robish so far today, and Robish hasn't come out of the game yet. No, he has not. Kansas in a zone. Kenny Gregory also in there, the freshman from Columbus, Ohio. Looks like a 1-3-1. This is where you want to, if you can, you want to penetrate that in the wing. You want to get right in that seam and break the zone down. And Adkins traveled with And it. you don't want to travel. Well, turnovers have been a problem for Oklahoma State. Seven they look so far in the game today. Don't they to you? Yeah. I mean, they look, just look a little tentative, and you thought when they made that run, got within this, five, this is a big, little more aggressive. John, this is a big game for them. You see they lead in turnover oh, yeah. margin, averaging 17.7 takeaways. That's a, a school record. But this is a huge game for them because they've been struggling to get some national respect. They've only got four losses, and they can't buy a ranking. <laughs> well, the AP has them ranked 25th, but nobody else has them ranked. Oh, nice pick and roll. Oh, right here's job. the Q. And really nice TJ Q now with eight points. Yeah, that was Robertson. That was a no look, beautiful yeah. pass. And I think that's where your difference is here. Robertson sticking it from outside, running the offense, keeping everybody under control. And Gottlieb really uh, struggling a little bit here so far this afternoon. So after Oklahoma State had cut it to five, Kansas back on top by 10 with 125 left to go first half as Gottlieb kicks it back to Robish, who puts it on the deck, takes it in. That's going to be an offensive foul as Q takes the charge. Second foul on Brett Robish. Robish is trying to say, get counted. Well, you, you can if the ball's gone before the foul's called. I mean, I, I think that's a dumb rule myself, but if the ball is out of his hands before he makes contact, that basket should be good. The reason it's a tough rule is because it just gives the official something else to figure out when he's making that call. That's the toughest call in basketball. Oh, blocker charge, no doubt about it. Pierce goes around Weber, double team now. Our bodies down on the floor. Alexander hit the deck. Yeah, Robertson the three hits. Ryan Robertson, his fourth tray, and it's a 39-26, 13-point Kansas lead. Robertson's hit four of five from beyond the arc. 36 and 19 on the respective clocks down on the baseline. That was a wild shot. The tip won't go and Q comes down with the rebound. Oh, I'll tell you that time. Adrian Peterson took a wild shot and they're going to call the foul underneath. And coming up at halftime, the MCI halftime report with John Saunders in our wide world of sports studios in New York. That's Robish's third foul. That could really prove to be devastating. He's played such a great game here so far. I thought uh, what's happening right now is that Peterson, who's averaging almost 17 points a game, he's, he's really trying to force things a little bit too much. He's got to take those shots and the points as they come. And Pugh misses the free throw. Uh, he's had a stellar first half. Eight points, averaging just five and a half on the season. And now the Cowboys will try to get it for the last shot. Down by 13. It was just a few moments ago. They were only trailing by five. But Kansas on a 7-0 run here towards the end of the first half. Down to 10 on the clock. Gottlieb working inside. Doesn't get it to go, but draws the foul on Robertson. That's the first on Ryan Robertson. You know, Gottlieb really looks like that, you know, he can penetrate when he wants to, but really hasn't done much of it so far here in the uh, first half. The two or three times that he's taken the ball to the basket, he's done a very, very good job. 11th in the nation in assists. And throws an air ball up from the free throw line. That, 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 you were a good free throw shooter. What, what are all these kids doing wrong today? They don't practice them. That's what it is. 
They don't, I mean, I'd have bet a lot of money we're going to hit the second one after that. Weber saves it as he Weber. goes into the crowd, and the horn will sound, and that ends the first half from Stillwater. Kansas with a 7-0 run to end the half. They've got a 13-point, 39-26 lead over Oklahoma State. Yeah, Desmond, as the Cowboys will have it, got lead 44, that's Peterson 20, Robish 31. Back in there, also Mason, both those players with three fouls. And also 35, Joe Atkins, who had just one hoop in the first half. That was a three-pointer. Robish, the turnaround, in and out, gets his own miss, puts it back up, won't go, and Pugh has it knocked away, and Robish gets it back. Three and in! Atkins! Boy, well, needed that bad. They needed this crowd back into the ball game. You know, these crowds are good. They really help you play tough defense. I don't think it hurts an opposing team. Well, France gets it to go, so he had a difficult first half. Hitting just two of eight shots, he gets his first one down here in the second half. Off the window! Did he call that? Did he call? Oh! Doesn't count. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes better be lucky than good. You bet, and Gottlieb needs a little luck right now. He struggled. Yeah, he's only a 25% uh, three-point shooter. I don't even know why he was taking that shot. He's got to get it to the other people. Yeah. Thomas, he'll take the three, but he steps in for two. And Atkins chases it down. And Kansas, 41. He's Oklahoma going all the way. 32, the step back. Won't go. He hit the deck. No foul. And here comes Billy Thomas. He's got Robertson back to Thomas. Beautiful pass by Ryan Robertson. And that's what happens. Atkins pushes the ball up, takes a quick shot. Everybody's out of balance. No rebound. Boom, they go the other way. I don't know if Oklahoma State wants to run with the Jayhawks. No, I don't think they do. They want to take opportunity shots because Kansas plays such good half-court defense. But, you know, nobody's in position when you do that. And again from three-point land, and Atkins knocks it down. See, there you run a play. He gets an open shot, and everybody's in position. One to rebound, and two to get back on D. And the steal. Atkins taking it all the way in. Joe Atkins with eight points to start the second half. And Oklahoma State is closed to within six. Robertson for three. LaFrance the rebound, and in! Well, they Great a job on the offensive glass. And they could have called a foul on Robich, too. That was awful close. Oklahoma State ball. And 45, Alex Weber will check into the game. I think Mason is really hurt. He's got that right leg bandaged, and he comes out of the game. Let's take a look at it. LaFrance, great rebound. Little bump there from Robish, but uh, hey, what the heck? I can fade away and shoot those. Those are baby jumpers. Desmond Mason with just four points and noticeably limping. Again, Sorry. no, it won't go with that time for Atkins, and Pugh comes away with a TJ Pugh, eight points and four rebounds in the first half. As Thomas can't get it down, and LaFrance brings it outside. Then Atkins, that could have been a foul. It wasn't called. A lot of contact as Billy Thomas goes for three. Yeah, Robus is a little flustered right now. He can't let it get to him. And he's, you know, he's got three fouls. He's got to be kind of careful. 22nd timeout by Oklahoma. Right now at 39% for his career. But in the Big 12, Big 8 tournament, 23%. In the NCAA tournament, 29%. So I think for Kansas to succeed in the postseason, Billy Thomas has got to step up and Ryan Robertson and hit those threes from outside. Well, one of the things you got to understand is in the conference tournament and the NCAA, the defense uh, picks up just a little bit. And I think referees have a tendency to call fewer fouls because they don't want to command control of the game themselves. They want the game to flow within itself. But I think the offense picks up, too. And good shooters, you know, should rise to the occasion. He's shown he's a good shooter during the regular season. As the foul was on Pierce, and Adrian Peterson will go to the foul. And this is a guy, how do you figure this out, John? In conference play, he averages about six points in the first half. In the second half, he averages over 12 points. Well, you know, some guys just are slow starters uh, naturally, and some guys want to get other people in the flow. Now, he really struggled in the first half and even forced some shots and took some really difficult driving, kind of floating moves to the hoop. But, you know, with that ankle, it'll be interesting to see how he comes out in the second half because it has a tendency to stiffen up at half. That's the right ankle of Adrian Peterson that he twisted in practice yesterday. 
48-39. Here's the fall away. Oh, oh, what a roll. Man, is he good. Hey, you know, you get those rolls for a reason, too. That's called touch. Great rotation, great spin on the ball. Hits the rim and kind of deadens itself a little bit. Pierce with 11 points, five rebounds, and five assists. You know, it's tough to play a guy like that, you know, because you never know how he's going to hurt you. He can pass, he can rebound, and he can uh, obviously fill it up. Godley got it into Robich and misses the short one. Weber tipped it, and LaFrance comes down with it. Robich should have come back to his left hand at that time. He... Ten LaFrance... rebounds now for Rafe LaFrance. And the crowd wanted to walk. Double team with Weber. Yeah, good double teams. Trying to protect Robish with three fouls. Look at this shot by LaFrance. Good defense that time. Ball tipped around. Gottlieb has it. They got to convert They've here. got the numbers. Adkins to Robish. Misses another one. Can't finish. And here comes Pierce with Thomas. And they're going to call a block. Yeah, it was. It'll be Weber. interesting to see if they count the basket, though. The foul came just about the time. The shot was being taken. No basket. Let's take a look at it. A look away, kind of, yeah. Definitely a block. Timeout, 15-20. And uh, you said we've got great fans here, and I don't want a few of them to screw this up. Please don't throw anything else. A cigarette lighter was thrown down on the floor. Chenoweth is checked in as the rebound comes out to Gottlieb. Oklahoma State down by 11. Just over 15 minutes left to go here from Gallagher, Ivo Arena, and Stillwater. Final Big 12 regular season game tournament gets underway at Kemper Arena in Kansas City on Thursday. And the excitement is building. Clay Robertson's done a nice defensive job on Godley as going for it from outside is Adrian Peterson. There he comes. <laughs> Mr. Second half. Yeah, tell me it isn't in the head, man. Pew will take it all the way it in. Oh, and nice, TJ man. Pew now with 10 points. His career high is 13, so he's having a career type of day. For three. Adkins couldn't get it down. And I'll tell you, Sutton is having a few yeah, you words. Can. You got to be real careful what you do. You're down 10 points. You're not out of this ball game. I mean, by a long shot, your leading scorer is a second half guy. You got to take patience here and, and not worry about it. You got to get better shots. They, they got to run the offense. I think Gottlieb's got to penetrate. Plus, you got to get it now with Robish inside. Right, right. And Chenoweth, the freshman in there now. Let Robish try to work down low. Bounce pass from Weber to Gottlieb. That was a pretty good passer, isn't he? Yeah, he is. And that was a nice back door. I don't think that was a play. That was just instinctively. Nice move to the basket by Gottlieb. Good read of the defense. 52-44, Kansas. Pierce averaging over 20 a game. Spins and is called for the travel. By the way, Paul Pierce today now. 46 consecutive games in double figures for the junior from Los Angeles. I like the way he stays within himself. Mm -hmm, you know, yeah. he, he doesn't try to do anything ostentatious. Takes the game as it comes to him and, uh, you know, has really played a very well-balanced, steady game here. I, I think you're absolutely right. He does really play within himself and away from the ball, a foul. He's, Pierce is holding down there, but there was a bit of a kind of a combat going on on the baseline. That's his third. Let's take a look at it. Pierce just called, wasn't happy, but the travel, trying to get in front defensively. And uh, I'm not sure what I saw there as far as a foul goes. A lot of subs for Kansas as LaFrance gets back in there along with Lester Earl and Nick Bradford and Chad Alexander, uh, the only player on this team remaining from that 95 final four team here at Oklahoma State. And of course, Alexander, a senior from McPherson, Kansas, uh, his final season. Alexander, a much better shooter than Gottlieb. Now they've got some shooters in the ball game. That was some trouble in the five seconds. Yeah, you got to worry about the five seconds. You got to get some back doors like they did with Gottlieb. Peterson turns down the three, takes it off the baseline, can't get it down, tipped around, and Bradford comes down with the rebound. Peterson just can't seem to find that floating 
layup when he drives to the basket today. Lester Earl working on Weber. Now some help from Robish. Nice rotation of the ball. The France right at the free throw line. Can't get it to go. And Robish, another rebound. Can't get it to go. That one was a prick. He's got seven. He's off the glass. That's been a good shooting day. For no, it has not. All-America, Rafe LaFrance. And, you know, this is a great shooting environment here yeah. with the people in so close. Adkins has it yeah, blocked by foul. Robertson, but they're going to call the foul. His second. Guards always like to block shots because they like to talk about him in the locker room, but he should have kind of let this one go. He had... A shot blocker right behind him, and he kind of screened Earl out of the play. Once you see your beat a little bit there, you just let him go to the big guys. Adkins, 39 of 44 from the free throw line of the Big 12 Conference. That's 88%. Well, here comes the jinx. <laughs> Did I get him? Yeah. I'm not going to look. You tell me. Okay. I think you'll be able to tell. Uh, he's a good free throw shooter. Almost 80% on a year, so... Atkins has had three trays today, and the French is going to come out as Chenoweth goes back in. So 12 points for Joe Atkins. That's what he averages on the season. And I think Roy Williams is taking LaFrance out. He wants to talk to him. You know, he wants to tell him what he's doing wrong, how he can change it. Atkins, a sophomore from Oklahoma City, hits them both. Great for LaFrance on the bench now. There's a teacher. 52-46, six-point Kansas lead with 12.48 remaining. Montanati, number 30, has checked into the game. Robish gets a rest. Chenoweth will take it on top. He's got it. Down and Peterson has it stripped away. Alexander he's comes up. He's held, too. Yeah, he's being held. Bradford. Now, I, I need to tell the folks out there what a resilient team John Oklahoma State's been this year. They've got four double-digit comeback victories this year, into, including a school record. They were down by 17 to Arizona State and came from behind. So they are very capable of coming back, and they were down by 13 at halftime. And this is a guy that's got to come to life, which he normally does in the second half. Peterson has struggled just a little bit. There he is, the floater in the lane, can't get it to go, and he the Prince. He is really down. struggling. Billy Thomas, that's two, and he's got it. <laughs> no hesitation. Billy one. Thomas with 13. That was a one dribble in your face. Yep, yep. Offensive foul. He did have that arm out. Of course, Lester Earl put it about 12 rows up anyway. Yeah, he's not gentle when he blocks it. Foul oh, no. <laughs> is on Godley, his first, and we've got a timeout. The rebounds, Kansas 21-15. Kansas has not had a player off the bench score in this game. And they've got a lot of bench players in there right now with Bradford and this man, Lester Earl. Can he be the first? No. Nope. Gottlieb comes away with it. He three on Peterson two. Peterson on the wing. So he didn't get yeah, anything. Yeah. Had a three on one at first, then a three on two. Got to be aggressive. Kansas plays, you know, I think pretty solid half-court defense. Well, you know, Robertson's 6'5", and he's got long arms. He causes a lot of point guards. Right. Plenty of trouble defensively. Alexander for three. Can't get it to go. And Earl the rebound. You know, when LaFrance was out for nine games, Earl really picked up the slack rebounding. He led them in rebounding in five of those nine games. Transfer from LSU. Yeah, he's got to get used to the system. You know, that's the easiest thing to do, rebound and play defense. But it's tougher to score when you're not in the system. Bodies all over the place. And the possession arrow to Kansas. First time in the game, Robish went out for just a minute to get a breather. And he's back. And Kenny Gregory and Paul Pierce check back into the game. And he survived nine minutes without a foul. I think he has to get a little more aggressive now, Robish does, both defensively and offensively, like he was in the first half. He was kind of protecting himself there for the first part of the second half. We're told Desmond Mason has, uh, besides the bruised shin bone, a bruised hip, and he may not be back. Illegal screen down by Thomas on the baseline. Once the offensive man goes through the screen, the screener cannot move. Fouls on Thomas. Kenny Gregory. Oh, was it Gregory? Yeah. 
So first on Kenny Gregory. So after sort of a furious uh, first seven or eight minutes of this half, things have sort of calmed down here a little bit. 10.45 left to go in the game. It's really not much continuity to Oklahoma State's offense. They're really, really not doing a lot of screening away and things of that nature to try to get themselves open and get mismatches. And Godley, I don't know where he was going with that ball, but Gregory comes away with it. He, he can be it. spectacular. LaFrance and Montanati. Ah, that was a nice pass, too. LaFrance kind of on a semi-break, got good position down low, and a good feed from Gregory. LaFrance now with 10 points and the 53rd double-double of his career. That's been a Kansas record. Oh, what a beautiful floater. Coming down on the baseline, Adrian Peterson. Peterson was seven now in the second half and 12 for the game. Kansas pushes the ball up the floor. Robertson all the way to the corner. Earl had good position. Montanati commits a foul and Gottlieb's coming out and Atkins will check in. And Gottlieb uh, none too happy with himself as he walked by and had a few choice words for himself. Less than 10 to go. 56-48, Kansas with the lead. Oklahoma State has never led in this game. Good defense over there. Alexander battling with Gregory. Montanati was over there, and I wonder what he said. Told him not to dribble off his knee. <laughs> Ten turnovers for the Jayhawks. Uh, you know, Kenny's a freshman. He's trying to, you know, wants to make sure, one, that he does what he's supposed to do, but he, you know, he doesn't in get intimidated by this whole situation and gains experience. Peterson for three. Yeah, that was a Can't shot. get it. Oh, I'll tell you, Roby's did a great job. He was being pushed off by LaFrance, and that'll be the third on Rafe LaFrance. Well, now it kind of evens things up. They both got three. Somebody asked me yesterday, what do you think of... Uh, Robish. You think Brett Robish can play at the next level? And I said, you know, I've seen him on television a number of times. I've not seen him. Improve. I've been impressed by what I've seen today. Well, He's absolutely. Against a very good uh, big front line. He does. He positions himself very nicely uh, down low to get the basketball. He's aggressive. He's pretty quick. And he's got good hands. And has really played, as, as you said, uh, very good defense against somebody who could be player of the year. for And a bad miss from the corner on the three-point attempt by Atkins. LaFrance, and this one will not go as he's fouled from behind. Foul was on Joe Atkins, his second. Now, if you, if you watch this break, it was really kind of interesting. You know, LaFrance was kind of up even with everybody, and then he slowed down just a little bit. Let's watch. Here goes the break, out to the point guard. That's where you want it. Now watch LaFrance just slow down a little bit so he can let the man clear. Pierce clears, clears the defense out, and he goes in for the basket. 73% free throw shooter. So those are the, those are the kind of non-physical things you don't see in a player unless you're watching real close. Weber checks back into the game. You know, Kansas, since LaFrance came back from that broken effort in the uh, Rainbow Classic over in Hawaii, they've won nine in a row after that loss to Missouri. And you see today, 11 points, 12 rebounds. You know, in his defense, although you look in the conference stats, he's non-rated, but up there well, about played. every one of them. You know, it takes, the game, it, it takes 9, 10, 12 games to really round yourself out into great conditioning. So and by the time the NCAA tournament comes around, he'll be really ready to go and maybe slightly fresh, you know? Yeah, absolutely. 10-point Kansas lead. Oklahoma State's been as close as three. Showed a little bit of his own trap there, but backed off of it into a man-to-man. -man. Trying to get Alexander freed up for a look from three-point land. Hopefully not out there. Peterson steps back. Robish down low, the jump hook, and in. That's a good move. That's a big-time move right there. Well, First two points of the second half for Brett Roby. She's got 11. If he, and he's got two on him, who's a little bit smaller, but a tough defensive player. Well, but still, he, he's got some leverage over him. Traveling call.
Kansas has clinched, of course, their fourth consecutive conference title. They're the number one seed in the Big 12 tournament. Oklahoma State is the number two seed. Oklahoma State won the Southern Division, the South, Kansas the North. Robich inside, off the glass, can't get it to go. And cue the rebound. Oklahoma State just gets within six or eight and just can't get closer, which would put a lot of additional pressure on those shots. Pierce for three, and Adkins the rebound. 7.40 left. Eight-point Kansas lead as Adkins takes it down off the glass and the whistle. And on Paul Pierce, that will be his fourth. So with 7.36 left to go, Pierce has picked up his fourth foul. He'll come over and sit for a while. Time for a little rest anyway. It'll be interesting to see how long Roy Williams... Yeah, it's interesting. He's not going to take him out of the game, I don't think. Pierce? Well, they've got two players waiting to check in as Atkins goes to the line. Atkins had his career high of 26 against TCU earlier this year. He hit four threes in that game. That's his career high. Well, we finally got the jinx on him, huh? Let's take a look at it. To the hoop. Oh, well, just right there on the wrist, right at the end. And that, that will affect the shot, obviously. Pierce, could, and Pierce was mad at himself, you know. He, he had him in trouble. Didn't really have to come down like that because it had been a tough shot to make anyway. Atkins now with his second. I think a lot of times a guy is so valuable that a guy like... Weber College Basketball here on ABC has Kansas with Nick Bradford double teamed and Atkins comes up with the steal. Stripped from behind by McGrath and they're going to call a foul. Oklahoma State in the bonus the rest of the game. Only 14 fouls on the Cowboys. First pressure, full court anyway, from Oklahoma State the whole game. And, uh, you know, what happened there is McGrath's too close. You, you can't come running over there and try to get the ball in somebody's trap. You've got to find a better angle. John, Oklahoma State, 5 of 6 in the second half from the free throw line. In the last three games, 42 of 44 from the free throw line in the second half. And Atkins knocks it other down. Yeah, look who's coming back in, Robertson. Mr. Steady. You get a guy at 6'5", long arms, you know, he, he can see over those traps. Plus, if you really get into a trap, you got to step through it. You got to step through the scene, and, and, and guys got to find themselves. Unfortunately, a lot of times when you get trapped, guys go running hide in corners. And Atkins cuts it to five. Oklahoma State has it in this close. It's 31 26, with just over four minutes left in the. 7 20 left to go. Robertson, Bradford, Q, LaFrance. And Billy Thomas, as the French takes it in, and do they count it? Yes, sir. Again. Yes, they do. They count it. When Kansas needed strong half-court execution, they got it. LaFrance, I think he came off of a pew screen. There it is. Boom. And look right there. Weber's got to jump out a little bit sooner and try to prevent the ball from getting down low to LaFrance. You get a guy 6'11", that big... Uh, 235 pounds. It's tough to give him the ball in the paint and try to stop him. So Ray LaFrance only four points in the first half on two of eight shooting. He now has 11 in the second half, 15 in the game, and he has done the job on the glass with 12 rebounds, and it's 61-53. Pew on Robich. they got to get Robich the ball. Well, there they go over the top. Weber tried to find him. Yeah. Out of bounds. And he stepped well, on That's the not end. a good angle there. Now, LaFrance is, is not guarding Robish. He's on uh, Weber. So they got to bring Weber high, former triangle, get the ball down low to Robish, let him go to work. That's 11 turnovers. He's a fairly Oklahoma good State. free throw shooter at, all, at 78%. You know, in the bonus, he'll go to the line. LaFrance, and in. Hey. The All-Americans starting to take over here in the second half. Yeah, we, he struggles until it's uh, crunch time. Well, I mean, that's what the great players are supposed to do. They're, they're supposed to step up 
at the time they need him most, and he has done exactly that as we've got a 20-second timeout called. Now they're going to make it a full timeout. The gallagher Abba Arena in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Kansas with a 10-point lead over Oklahoma State. Cowboys with the basketball. Atkins 35, guarded by Billy Thomas out top. Got to get the ball down low to Robus. You got Kansas in foul trouble. You're in the bonus. Take it down there. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Robish has struggled in the second half. They find Atkins for three. Can't get it down. Weber, the offensive. Forward it in. Good Alex goal. Weber. This is two man. points. Oklahoma oh. State shooting just 38% from the floor in the second half. Kansas at 51. And off cue inside. It'll be Oklahoma State basketball. He was complaining he was held. We were blocked by the officials. 13th turnover for the Jayhawks. Good back Donald, door. There was a look to Atkins who kicks it outside. Peterson for three. And Billy Thomas the rebound. You know, you got a team in foul trouble. You got to take it to them. I'm sorry. You, the threes are good, but. You got him in foul trouble. You got two ways to score. You can go to the line, or you can, uh, you know, possibly get a layup. It appeared as though Atkins had a pretty good look at it inside as he makes a nice defensive effort, and it'll remain Kansas basketball. You know, when, when you're in a game like this, you got to take advantage of things that are in your favor. Eight fouls on Kansas, only five on Oklahoma State. If you're Oklahoma State, you play aggressive defense. If you get a foul, they just take it out. If you're on offense, you take it to the basket. Now Ryan Robertson has not scored in the second half. He had four three-pointers in the first half. I'm sure that got the attention oh, yeah. of Atkins and the other. Well, it's what allows for players. France. Five on the shot clock. Robertson leans in. Yeah, you, yeah, you can't. Uh, even though there was contact there, he forced it. You can't give him a shot. But see, that's why La France is a little more freer. They were doubling him in the first half, rotating, and that left... Robertson open on a weak side. They have not doubled him as much. Less than five to go and an eight-point Kansas lead. Go down low. It is tough to win on the road in the Big 12 Conference. Granted, uh, Robish is one out of six this half. He could be a little bit tired. He's only come out about a minute. Weber has it stripped while he went up. Go on. Now he's going to go back after it. Off the side of the backboard. Gottlieb gets it. And they've got ten on the shot clock. Gottlieb. Dishes it back to Robish, she'll take it, misses it, and the offensive board by Peterson, and he's fouled by Nick Bradford. Third foul on Bradford. Oklahoma State scrappy, getting the loose balls and getting uh, the offensive rebounds. And Weber pleading, uh, I believe, with Larry Limbo, he wanted a foul on that play. We'll talk about Mr. First Half and Mr. Second Half. Peterson definitely a second half player. His career high 29 against Baylor this year. 22 of those in the second half of the game. He scores in the Big 12 Conference 12 points per game in the second half. Just six in the first half as he knocks that free throw down. And so far today, he's got eight points in the second half. 13 for the game as Pierce will get back in. Remember, he's got four fouls. Kenny Gregory also back in the game. Adrian Peterson, a junior out of North Little Rock, Arkansas. Hits them both. He's Oops. six out of six. Here comes from the, the pressure free throw line. and the trap. And it's a six-point game. 4-10 remaining. Gregory's number 20. And he'll wait till the rest of the guys in the blue court. Pierce. Double team, but a foul. And the foul's going to be on Weber. It's the knee. 16 foul on Oklahoma State. He'll take it out on the side. Next foul, Kansas. Here's Pierce posting up. Lou far out. Did a nice job. He's got the total package, doesn't he, John? Yeah, but he gets double. He just, I'll take both of you to the basket. I mean, he can take it inside, take it outside. Good medium range jump shot. Good oh, here down low. The push. No foul and counted. And TJ Punau with 12 points. That's one off his career high. Good execution again by Kansas. Good screen away from the ball for the big guy by Gregory. 
Hugh with 12 points and six rebounds. And it's an eight-point lead. Oh, look at that! Unbelievable! Off Rovich's hand, he said, I will certainly take it. Six-point Kansas lead. Pierce the pull-up from the side. And Rovers the rebound. Long pass down court. And the finish by Peterson from Atkins. Boy, that's a risky pass. Whoa. 65-61. It's a four-point goal game. Kansas wants a timeout with 2.48. Left to go from the Gallagher. Ivorina and Stillwater on pink. This crowd is really pumped up right now. LaFrance trying to work on Robish, blocked by Weber, and Gottlieb comes away with it. LaFrance forced that one. He had guys to pass to. And both Robish and LaFrance a little late getting down the court. 221 left to go. Next foul. Two shots for Oklahoma State. I still say you got to go to the basket. Q guarding Roby. She'll come out and set the pick now. Coming down to 10 on the shot clock. Yeah, you're not getting anything here. Peterson. That's for three. So Won't go, and Roberts in the shot. rebound. There's no offense being run, no continuity. Now Kansas, on the other hand, has really executed well. Kansas led by 13 at the half. Oklahoma State's only been as close as three. Yep, They've never led the in the game, and the foul's going to be on 35. Joe Atkins, that's his third. One plus the penalty. Well, we'll say it again. This has been a resilient Oklahoma State team. They've four times this year come back from double-digit deficits, including a 17-point comeback against Arizona State which is a school record, and stay tuned after the game for the Army Reserve post-game report with John Saunders from our Wide World of Sports Studios in New York, time permitting, as Kenny Gregory goes to the line, and on the season, he is just a 40% free-throw shooter. And Gregory hasn't scored in the last two games, and keep in mind, no Kansas player off the bench has scored today. And Gregory becomes the first. 66-61. Kansas a full and 220. Oklahoma State a full possession arrow to the Cowboys. And the 40% free throw shooter gets them both. Well, as Billy good. Thomas checks in and Gregory will sit down. And boy, he's congratulated by LaFrance. I'd say that's pretty good for a freshman under pressure. Well, you know, there's free throw shooting yeah. and then there's free throw shooting in the final two minutes of the game. And it's a whole different beast, isn't it, John? Yeah, oh, definitely. Oklahoma State's got to do something here. They gotta, they've got to get, uh, you know, some kind of offensive play run here. If you saw North Carolina Duke yesterday, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, right. 67-61. See, again, they're struggling. They got nothing out of their offense. Peterson from the side. That's for two. Adrian Peterson. They've all been executing their half-court offense under pressure. Pierce has it now and gets it back to Billy Thomas. Robertson wide open for three. Won't go. LaFrance the offensive board and gets it back to Robertson. Huge rebound by the All-American. His 13th of the game to go along with 17 points. A minute to go. They're going to have to get aggressive and try to trap. They don't want to wait too long if their decision is to foul. Ball is thrown away. Weber has it. Possession arrow at Oklahoma State. So now if you had a timeout left, you could have used it there. Yeah. However, you would not have wanted to do that because the arrow is your way, but you lose the arrow in this return. Well, the three losses this year by Kansas, their opponents have attempted and made more free throws, Missouri, Hawaii, and Maryland. And you see the numbers there today. 
40 seconds left to go. There's a shot. Wide open in the corner. Won't go. Mr. Well, I'll tell you, Atkins, yeah, shot. Atkins had a good look at it. There's seven of 24 from three-point land now, John. What happens is, you know, those threes are further out. It, it, uh, you lose your legs, you lose your legs, you lose your jump shot. And the foul called on Robish. A little bit too this far, court. maybe, behind the line, excuse me. But, uh, you know, at the end of a game, you're a little bit more tired. Most people think that you don't need legs to shoot jumpers. You do. Your shot leaves you when your legs leave you. Billy Thomas at the line. One of two today. And this is that one. As the France goes up and gets another big rebound. Falls out of bounds. And the foul with 28 seconds to go as Gottlieb got a hold of Robertson. Yeah, he had to foul him. A France again and a big rebound. I think, that, I think Robich is just tired. I really believe that. He had played all but about a minute of the game. In the last kind of 10 minutes, he's just kind of lethargically moved around the court. He's just, just worn out because of this big Kansas front line. Alexander's going to come in and Gottlieb will check out. As Robertson, who has not scored in the second half, he had four three-pointers in the first half, 12 points, and Ryan, a 74% free-throw shooter. And look at look Prince again. He's going to call a foul. He's going to call a foul that time. And that's four on Rafe LaFrentz. Well, first time's a charm, second time maybe not. Watch the he's on this side of the play. Goes around behind him. I'll tell you what, I don't see any foul there myself. He just did a nice spin move right around behind as Weber tried to block him around. That, that move's the oldest in the book. And Alex Weber will go to... Well, see, they got Robish on the line, and the Kansas yeah. bench is saying, no, it's Weber. And they're right. And, and they're they right. are right. Yeah, okay, now they go. Well, you know, hey, look it. You got to... You know, just a, I don't blame him. Yeah, it's just a mistake. No, right? no, 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 no. I don't blame him for trying to do it. <laughs> I've been part of that before. I know you have. <laughs> well, Good so, job by the Kansas bench. Well, Weber I mean, just a 48% free throw shooter, and uh, Robish a 78%. And LaFrance keeps yeah, it alive. You get two and, shots. Yeah, you get two, two shots. shots. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Well, Larry Lembo, Tom Harrington, and Dave Dodds, the officials, are getting them from both coaches yeah, well, right yeah. now. And, and, and 6,300 people. Yeah. 27 and a half seconds to go, four-point deficit. He's got a, you know, in some circumstances, a little less time. You might want to miss this one, but you're going to make this one. Is to get him within three, and he knocks it down. All right, now the full-court pressures. You try to trap, get aggressive, and then if you have to foul, make sure you foul the right people. You got to know how many guys are and what percentage of free throws are shooting. They run after Robertson, now Pierce has it. Now, you don't want to foul him, I don't think. Well, your most experienced player. The foul's going to be on Peterson, his second. 76% free throw shooter. I think you want to foul probably one of the two guys that missed the last two free throws because they're thinking about it again. Pierce with just two points in the second half, 11 on the game. One of two so far in the game from the free throw line. Gonna shoot two. I'll tell you what, that extra free throw makes it a lot easier to shoot. A one and one is a lot of pressure on them. You got that second one, it makes it easier. 68 64. Remember, Oklahoma State out of timeouts. And Kansas is going to take one. So, with 13. I'll give you. I don't think you have any other alternative. Adkins will get it in the corner. And the three pointer knocked down by Chad Alexander. You got to get a quick foul. 69 67. And at the other end, Bradford with the finish. Boy, there's quick thinking on the part of Kansas. Instead of being hesitant, they really go all out and get after it. And that'll do it. What a game. What a terrific college basketball game as Kansas holds on at the end to defeat Oklahoma State 
67 and moved their record to 31 and 3 on the year 15 and 1 in the Big 12 conference and for Oklahoma State just their fifth loss 21 and 5 11 and 5 in conference but it was an interesting game because in the first half a couple of guys Ryan Robertson with four three pointers and TJ Pugh with eight points and four assists sort of got it going as LaFrance struggled but in the second half Rafe LaFrance the All-American came back and then after the three-pointer by Alexander they came down and got the finish by Nick Bradford so John I, I think it was an, an inability for Oklahoma State to really execute their offense in the end they got 67 for John Mengeld I'm Roger Twible thanks for being with us from Stillwater Oklahoma